All right, hey, how you doing? My name is Brandon D'Ambrosio. I'm the owner and founder of e-commerce automation. We're gonna get into even what the word automation means here in a minute, but what I wanna get out of the way first is number one, I thank you very much for your time. I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible, giving you the overview of everything, going through how I lost almost $30,000 how this turned into the company and this page and this video and opportunity you're seeing right in front of you. And number three, I just wanna get out of the way here as well. You know, this isn't gonna be a really hypey webinar, sales pitch, trying to hype you up to push you to do something that you're not ready to do. Why is that? Because if you're here, you're either an investor, you're either somebody looking for a side income or some sort of cash flow source. And in order to do that, in order to make an investment, you have to be smart and you have to look and see, is this right for me? So for me pushing you to do something, it makes no sense. Because even if I were to push you to do something and you weren't ready, now it's a whole partnership that you're not excited about. It's almost like a chore. You're nervous about it, all that. I don't want that to happen. So it's a lot different from all these other companies out here. It's not going to be super hype, you know that. You can see the results down below. You can see some of that information down below. At the end of this, if you want to book a call with me to discuss this, learn some information, learn the services we offer and see if it's right for you go ahead and do that you can hit the blue button below and then schedule a call with me and we can have that call and have that discussion that's not that's also not going to be a pushy video as well because i believe if the service is great if the communication is great if my intentions are there that are great and if you are looking for something like this or after you go through this video and we just and we talk if you're looking for something like this you'll do it I don't need to push you to do it. If you want to do it, the service is there. Anyway, so what I want to, that's what I wanted to get out of the way first. What I want to move into now is kind of what I hinted at earlier, which is how I lost almost $30,000 and how that led to the company I own now. So a few years ago, and by the way, if you hear what sounds like a plane above, like what's coming through now, can't tell how much you can hear it, but I live near a Navy base and I can't tell them to stop flying around because they're doing their thing and I wouldn't even dare to do so. So that's gonna happen every once in a while, but that is unavoidable for me. So how I lost almost $30,000. It's very simple. A few years ago, I saw this buzzword term, Amazon automation, right? Amazon automation, Amazon automation. It's all, it was all over the internet, Instagram, people saying this and this and this. And what all these companies were doing is they were selling a service called Amazon dropshipping, which is basically where you list a water bottle on Amazon. And then once something, but you don't own any of the inventory. And as soon as somebody buys that water bottle on Amazon, you'll go to another source like Etsy, Walmart, Home Depot, eBay, etc. Food line. It doesn't really matter what the, what the place is, but then you'll buy it on there and then ship it right to the customer. The problem with that is, Amazon doesn't like that model. And the reason being is because when somebody orders something off Amazon, they either want an Amazon package or a regular USPS or UPS type of package in the mail. They don't want, and they, people get confused when they see, you know, a Walmart or a Home Depot, etc. a package come to their doorstep because it's kind of confusing. And then they leave a review and it says, hey, I got my order in a box from Walmart. Why is that when I order from Amazon? And then Amazon's going, well, we don't want people from our platform buying you know, something from Amazon, our platform, and then basically getting free marketing for another one of our competitors. So they stopped liking it. The problem is the people that knew that were still selling it as a service. They knew your store would be shut down. They knew it wouldn't last, but they still sold it because it was a very quote unquote sexy thing because they could show the numbers, historical numbers they've done four years ago, two years ago, whatever that may be. And now, you know, that model is completely obsolete and people still sell that, which drives me nuts. So anyway, I invested with that. I invested $35,000 with a company and it took four months for the store to be open. I must say that if you have the required checklist of stuff, which we can talk about, like I said, on the call, you can open up your Amazon store in 15 minutes on the computer and then conf confirm everything. You'll get the confirmation from Amazon within seven to 10 days, essentially. So four months is absolutely unacceptable and I keep seeing this as a pattern for these other companies that offer this service. So that happened four months later. I didn't hear from the company at all. Finally heard from them, your store's up. Ran it for a little bit, didn't make much money. They told me it made about 5,000-ish dollars in profit. So that's why I say I lost almost $30,000, not $35,000, but the process was terrible. 
the company dealt with a lot of lawsuits and all that. But ultimately, as angry as I was and as much money as I lost, now with this company, you know, the startup time was super long. I didn't see much money from profits to what they were promising me, which is very important. They set this expectation that they did not exceed or even reach, which is the problem here, and which is what I really focus on for this company. And then, you know, I, I didn't make any of that money, didn't get my money back, never heard from them. And it was a, a process that, you know, made me angry at the time. But then I started researching, started looking into the industry and realized that I can do this myself, disrupt this industry, put these companies, either make them be honest, make them provide the correct service, or they're gonna go out of business and be obsolete. Either way, people are getting a service for much less. You know, these companies are charging 35, 50, 65, I've seen 100, $120,000 for this Amazon service. And what that does is it puts a lot of pressure on both the business and the investor in order to see that ROI in a realistic time frame. And then nobody's happy. So we have, you know, our goal is to basically be able to provide this for, you know, people at a much lower cost, have much greater communication, get things started up as fast as possible, depending upon the service, and then lastly, get the best results in the industry. So after that, I decided to interview teams, look around, and you know, I came across a team that I hired on as my team, and you know, they've been doing this for over seven years, almost eight years, and ran over 900 to 1,000 plus Amazon stores, the best in the business, brought them on, and decided to start this business. So that is how e-commerce automation was born. Now, into the word of, of e-commerce automation and what that means. And again, the industry, you hear Amazon automation, and nowadays it's kind of almost like crypto. Like, it's such a vague term. What does that even mean? What does automation even mean? Essentially, what that means is we, you invest with us. We help you set up the Amazon store that you own 100%, and then we run it for you 100%, and then all you do is you're providing the capital for inventory. So you own the store 100%, you're providing the capital for inventory. It can be in the form of cash, credit, debit card, line of credit, whatever it may be, whatever is best for you. And then we'll run everything and then we just split the profits. You always get the higher percentage of the profits. So going into you know, kind of what we offer and everything, because I really don't want to make this video very long. If you're interested at all, you're going to click that button down below and we'll talk and we can kind of get into the nitty gritty and you can have all these questions and stuff and set aside time for that. But you know, your time is valuable. That's why you're investing in something so you don't have to do something yourself. So I wanna keep this as short as possible. So what I wanna move into now is the two types of services that we offer right now. So the first type of service, and this is gonna be a very basic overview. And again, we could talk about this more, but I don't wanna give you so much detail that it's not meant for you to be on the hook to click more. What it's meant for is if we get into the detail and you can't be on the other end of the phone with me asking me questions, there's gonna be a confusion there. So basically we offer these two services. So with Amazon, you can run on two different models. You can run on Amazon FBA, which is means fulfilled by Amazon, which means you order inventory, you send it to Amazon's warehouse somewhere in the USA, and you know they have warehouses all over. And then after it arrives at the warehouse, you go ahead and list those items on your Amazon store and start making sales. And then when you make a sale, Amazon actually ships the order uh, to the customer directly, Amazon Prime, et cetera. Now with FBA, with Amazon FBA, we run this on a private label basis. What private label means is we're gonna research products, find products that are proven to sell but aren't super saturated and that aren't trendy, meaning they're evergreen, they'll sell all year round. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work the connections with the supplier, with the manufacturer. We're gonna order those 1,000 units, of course, funded by you, 1,000 units minimum, because that's you know for the negotiating point to get the best price. And the private label comes into terms when we're actually branding it. We create you a brand, a logo, all that stuff confirmed and approved by you, of course. And then that gets put on the packaging, manufactured and shipped over to Amazon's warehouse and then we can start making sales. Now, Amazon Private Label FBA, we're building a brand on Amazon. And the, the approach to that is it's a very long-term model. You're building a brand, etc. But the downside of that model is and you know downside con whatever you want to call it i just want to give you the ups and downs here the downside of that model is it does take some time to start up so it takes you know between seven and eight months before you start seeing real profits to you but it is a longer term thing and it requires a little bit a much larger original outlay of cash or credit whatever you want to call it in order to start that up for inventory and we could talk about what that is in the call like i said so that's for some investors and then the other side a more popular option is the other side of Amazon, like I said, you can have FBA and you can have FBM. 
FBM is fulfilled by merchant, so the merchant would be you. So if I wanted to start a company where I sold specialty water bottles, then what I would do is I could sell them from my house. If I wanted to have my own shop or brand or knit sweaters or rugs, it doesn't really matter what it is. You can open that up and you can tell Amazon, listen, we're going to sell from this place. We're going to fulfill all the order fulfillment, the customer service, etc. And when sales are made, we'll ship it directly to the customer. Amazon's fine with that model as well. But what we do for FBM is we run something called Amazon Wholesale Arbitrage slash FBM. Arbitra the wholesale arbitrage model comes into play like this. We research products that are proven to sell now, and they can be trendy products because we're not gonna order a lot of inventory for that. So we get this process started up a lot faster. What we're doing is we have you know warehouse space that we're renting a couple of different places in the USA and people that are working in those warehouses. So what we do is we're gonna order some wholesale items. So between five, 10, 15 items for maybe three to five different items. So the inventory purchase is not very large or risky up front at all for you. So what happens is we order those units of inventory. We have those inventory shipped from within the US to the warehouse. And then at that point, you know, that's just a few days shipping, maybe a week. At that point, once we're in, they're in the warehouse, we repackage everything, make sure it's packaged properly for Amazon, labeled properly for Amazon, etc. And then we're gonna go ahead and list the products live on your Amazon store. And as soon as a customer buys it, we're gonna ship it right to them now that it's all packaged so they're gonna get the product quickly. Amazon is fine with this model. Amazon doesn't care where you get products from. They just make sure, they wanna make sure that the customer experience is there. And we run all this. When I said with FBM, you're responsible for customer service and packaging and shipping. We handle all that, not you. So those are the two models that we offer. I already spoke about the up, the pros and cons, whatever the words you want to call it for FBA, for the wholesale arbitrage FBM model, the other service we offer, what the upsides and downsides, if you will, are for that model is you have the downside of you're not necessarily building a brand. We're not branding the products. We're just there to sell products and get you cash flow and profit as quickly as possible. And we can... And so it's not like you're building a long-term brand with that. We can run this for a long time, of course, but it's not an actual brand being built like Fiji water or something like this. So, but the upsides are we can get the store started very quickly within a couple of weeks once you have all the necessary things you need in order to open up a store under your name because you own the asset. So we help you open that this way you own it. And we can get it started very fast and you start seeing sales and profits very quickly. So you can see that proof of concept, feel comfortable, and you start you know, actually making real money you know, into your account every single month very quickly. So those are the two services that we offer. And I don't wanna go into more detail. Like I said, this whole model is designed for you to invest with us. And I never say fully passive because since you're funding the inventory, you just have to make sure that's paid down and stuff. It doesn't take a lot of time, but when people say 100% passive, Almost nothing is that way. I say 99% passive for this one. So, you know, basically you're going to invest with us. If you so choose, invest with us. We help you open up the Amazon store. You own the Amazon store, the asset 100%. We run the Amazon store, the asset for you 100%. We do all the work, everything. And then we split the profits. You get the majority of the profits every single month. And it works like that. So you're not paying things that are ongoing unless we make profits, if that makes sense. So those are the models. That's the service we offer. Again, my name is Brandon D'Ambrosio, owner and founder of e-commerce automation. And again, I don't think I fully, before I end this video, I don't think I fully explained what this automation was. I touched on it because it's a very vague term. Automation is basically in this sense a term where you're investing with us and we are automating that income stream for you, meaning we're running it. So if you wanted a mostly automated income stream, cash flow source, whatever you want to call it, investment, that's what this automation means. It can be a buzzword if it's not explained. So I just wanted to explain that again. My name is Brandon D'Ambrosio. And if you want to talk with me on a call personally about this, ask some questions, see if it's right for you, etc. And if it is, we move forward. If it's not, no worries. I'll never force somebody to do something that's not right for them, right for you as an investor. So there's no pressure. There's no cost. There's no commitment to this call. So if you're anywhere interested, if you have you know, a decent amount of capital and cash that you want to put to work because there is an investment. So I'm not going to lie to you. It's, you know, a decent chunk of an investment. But if you do have some money that you have to invest that you want to create a cash flow source with, and then some other money you can use to fund the inventory in order to scale your store as high as possible, go ahead and click that button down below 
and then it's going to take you to a page with a few questions and everything to book a call with me and then we're going to get in a call and see if it's right for you so thanks a lot for watching the video i really appreciate it my name is brandon d'ambrosio and i'm looking forward to talking to you soon thanks